large police presence has gathered in Miami after a deadly police shooting. And we want to check back with CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner. Morgan, what do we know? Yeah, well, the sun is starting to come up now, so you can get a better look at that scene behind me, which is right off of Biscayne Boulevard. That's where I'm standing. That's 25th Street. That is blocked off. And we actually spoke to a witness who said that this happened in an Airbnb he was renting right on the other side of the scene. He said that he actually called 911 because he said his roommate, who he was living with for just about a month, who was also struggling with mental health, came after him with a knife. Hamid Hamidi said when people arrived, the police arrived, they were trying to get both sides of the story from the two of them, but that's when he said his roommate took out the knife. Hamid described the police verbally warning her not to come any closer with the knife, but then he says that his roommate charged at police. He said police then shot her. This happened on Northeast 2nd Avenue and 25th Street. The scene is still very active with multiple mobile command centers, crime scene investigation vans. Obviously, the road is blocked off with that yellow crime scene tape. City of Miami police did confirm that this shooting was, in fact, fatal. And per policy, this is standard. Whenever there is an officer-involved shooting, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement takes over the investigation. I'm live in Miami, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.